Hello, Bone Broth fans. We are here on Palomar Mountain today, filling our water jugs from the Artesian Springs of Palomar Mountain. And did you know that Palomar Mountain water, Artesian water, is actually what's in your bone broth? And just wanted to show you what it looks like here, and um, then we'll head up the mountain a little more to talk to you some more about wet water and what that means and why you want your bone broth made with it. So we'll see you in a minute. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today and the benefits of good water. Good wet water. Wet water. Yeah, thanks. Okay, see you soon. So we're just a little further up the hill here on Palomar Martin, Mountain from where we filled our water. Um, and so it's a little quieter here. We can talk to you about wet water now. So wet water was a phrase coined by my good friend David here um, after a marathon, I believe. And he was so dehydrated, the poor guy, and he couldn't find anything to quench his thirst. And finally, uh, we stopped for water somewhere and he got some Palomar Mountain Spring water in a jug and he just started drinking it and he put it down and he looked at me and he said, oh my God, this water is so wet. And I don't think I've ever seen this man so satisfied before. <laughs> Taste the difference. It's, uh, it's definitely wet. And so the, I think believe the, the essence of wetness is what makes water <laughs> water. And, and, and to scientifically say what wetness is, the reason that it tastes wet and quenches your thirst so well is because it isn't devoid of the trace minerals like what you would get with reverse osmosis water. It doesn't have a bunch of crap in it like tap water. So it actually is what your body needs to quench its thirst and to function the way it should. So to get to why this is important, um, Bonebroth.com is very lucky to have partnered with Palomar Mountain Spring Water and that is the water that they use in all of their bone broth and um, not only does it have the trace minerals and it doesn't have the stuff that you don't want in it but it also it's just a really clean crisp flavor and so the flavor of the broth is better as a result. Um, I don't know if you've ever made coffee with, you know, tap water versus reverse osmosis water versus spring water, but even with coffee, I mean, you can really tell the difference. So, um, you know, the flavor, the health benefits, it's all there. Chef, the flavor chef sources the best in everything he puts in that bone broth. And so you can really taste that. And of course, the love that he adds, that's the other thing that just makes it a step ahead of every other bone broth I've ever tasted. Yeah, I mean, it's beyond beyond the organic product, beyond the, the detail of the preparation and the process. The water is really like the... Uh, and those things are there too, of course, but... The water is the golden seal on, 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 on that elixir because, you know, can you imagine live, living without water? Living without... You can't live without water, you can't live without oxygen, you can't live without food, right? right. Uh, but water, how, how, what's the percentage of water in your body? 70, 70 80, to 80 percent. 70 to 80 percent, that's your water. So make sure that it's the good water, uh, you know, and start with good hydration. Um, and of course, make sure that you use water, good water, where you need to. And the broth, if you have organic broth, something that heals you, something that makes you feel better, good water is the essence. And I got to tell you that, you know, if you don't believe me, try the difference. Uh, yeah. So anyway, since Melissa has a nutrition background, I have a few questions. Uh, okay. So number one question is, can you explain why reverse osmosis or filtered water is really just nothing? Well, so the reverse osmosis water, if you have a filter like that in your home or um, if you go and fill your jugs like at one of those glacier water stations, um, that that's municipal water that's been filtered a bunch of different ways. Um, there, it, it's gone through a laser, it's obviously gone through the reverse osmosis, which is great because that gets rid of a lot of the bad stuff that you don't want to drink from the tap. Um, the only problem with it is uh, it also takes out any of the trace minerals. Um, and, and two, just, it, you know, it's just not living water anymore. I mean, it, it just, it takes all that away from it. So not to say that you can't ever drink that but if you do you definitely want to add trace minerals back in and there are drops you can buy to do that so not to be a scare tactic that if you can't get your hands on spring water 100 percent of the time but um so there are ways to add those minerals back in but um did that answer your question <laughs> i guess it's not good enough but let me go all the way back though tap water you know most people don't know all the crap that is in tap water not only the water is bad it's chlorinated so let me start with all the, just just off of your mind all the stuff that is floating in that water can you name a few okay well viagra so, 
I'm, I'm, I, I don't need no, no, that. There are, there are hormones <laughs> in the water. There are pharmaceutical drug remnants in the water. Um, basically, you know, anything that ends up back in our rivers and streams and lakes, that's where the water is being taken, you know, for our municipal water. And obviously it's treated, but um, the treatment cannot take out all of the stuff that floats in there. So you've got the agricultural waste and runoff. You've got anything that anybody flushes down the toilet or puts down the sink. Um, all the stuff where you see, a lot you know, of people dump drugs down in the, the drains the where drains. it says dolphins live downstream. That goes into our streams and oceans. And so, yes, it gets filtered after that, but it can't get rid of all of those things. And so, yeah, those things are in the water and you are drinking them, essentially. Okay, and so so then the, the final thing about water, all water in, in California is chlorinated? Yes. Right? Drinking so, water, yeah. Drinking water. And so I'm not only, I mean, I don't know about you, but when I drink, if I'm on the road or whatever, and I have to have a sip of tap water, I mean, I can just sense that that water is not wet. No. It's, it's definitely not wet. In fact, even the kids say, I just feel dehydrated, I don't feel good, because yeah. it, it's it's like drinking sand. So can you say what, what chlorine does or what, what are the studies out there? What, what People say, oh, it's good for you. It just, well. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, obviously there are studies out there and I don't know all of them, but um, chlorine and fluoride have both been linked to various things, um, you know, when consumed over long term. Um, that would include cancers. Um, I know for fluoride, thyroid is huge. It has a huge effect on thyroid. And the worst part is it's not just like a food grade fluoride that they're putting in the water. The fluoride that they're using is fluorosilicic acid, which is actually a byproduct of some fertilizer. So basically they're just dumping somebody's leftovers and calling it fluoride. So there are a lot of issues there, but um, I think, I, I don't know if anyone else has this experience, we're used to drinking spring water or reverse osmosis with, with minerals added back in. And then if we go somewhere, like a restaurant where, you know, you're forced to drink tap water or like Brita filtered water, um, all of us in our family have noticed you can drink and drink and drink and you just can't get You just clenched. don't get that wet so, feeling inside of your body. Re yeah, regardless of what studies say, your your own body will tell you that this is not what it wants or needs and it's not fulfilling its purpose. So I, mean, I think that right there is... The yeah, good. so, okay, we'll wrap it up because <laughs> okay. we've been going on way too long. But what we're going to do just as a final thing is we have our jug that we filled at the, the Artesian Spring right down the street here. And I also have with me a bottle of water that is the reverse osmosis with some minerals added back in. So pretty darn good alternative. But I'm going to pour them into two cups and I'm going to have my daughter, without seeing which is which, tell you which one is the wet water and see what she thinks because she is totally unbiased. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. All right, Joey. So I want you to have a sip of both waters and tell me which one you think is wet and wonderful. Which one's the wet water? This one. That one, yeah. You got it right. <laughs> you get delicious. Delicious. Okay, Amanda, yeah. turn your back and cover your okay. eyes. I'm going to fill one cup with wet water and one cup with not wet water. Turn around and tell me what you think. <laughs> That's the wet water? <laughs> yes, it is. But the crappy water is still... It's the next best choice, yeah. It's just not as smooth. Yeah, like the flavor. Uh, you can just tell right yeah. away. So, yeah, this is the os reverse osmosis, mm -hmm. and it's usually I think it's a good water. Is that that's not the wet water, is it? This is the wet water. Take the wet water. Oh my God, it was right. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because it's so important to make not circling to make face. the product. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> just want to get my point across that. Oh! Good brewers use only the best water. I hope you get my point across. That was the last outdoor filming we've done for this did you show. Know, did you know that good... Did, <laughs> I'm sorry you got a knot on your face. Ow! So what I wanted to say is just a little fun fact here. You know, the your best... facts are always fun, baby. The best brewers regarding, Our you know, anal. coffee, tea, breweries, Use the best water, only best water. All the ones that you're thinking of. Come on! Yeah. You 
just for the sake it. of the video. Okay, so one more time about the, the, the water. We got through this, so. <laughs> this is a good blooper. Okay. Dude! Look at me sloopy. A fun fact about European breweries. Did you know that European breweries <laughs> Dad, are you're saying it too fast. The, the good breweries are all built on a good source of water. It's usually oh! <laughs> You had a fly on your face. Well water, spring water, because that's what makes the product unique. Ow!